really the most impressive thing. We knew Kale was a good defender, but until he got moved over to third when O'Keefe went out for an injury, he's an amazing defender. Well, he, you know, there's some there's there's some limitations with him that you don't uh, he don't have the arm strength that Kyle does, so he's got to create different angles. Uh, but one thing about Kale, he sticks his nose in there. He 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 always finds a way to glove and come up with the ball and. And he's kind of that dirt bag player, that guy that can play second and third. But he's been a good, you know, and, and it kind of shoved Benny into an everyday duty. And a lot of freshmen aren't ready for it, but he's more ready for it now after after time. And then, you know, Carlos just has uh, such a presence. The difference in Carlos now and what he was the previous three years is there's not as much swing and miss. He's moving balls, and with his speed, he creates havoc. You, you, real quick, you said when he got back, it was, it was a big hole, not oh. so much for – his performance in the field, but being a clubhouse guy, with him back now, he's won three or four. He's the glue guy, and, and he keeps guys going on the bench. He talks about at bats. He And it's a lot easier to do that when you're playing. You know, it's a lot. It, it resonates more when you're in the lineup and you're in the grind with them for him to go up the web and go, hey, you're going to get him next time. And, and it means more. So he creates a presence in that lineup that we've missed, you know, for five weeks now, yeah. and, and uh, hopefully he can continue playing like he is. You've had to mix and match throughout this season, trying to find the right combinations. Even the lineup today was different than the lineup last night. Colton has been struggling. I know he got nicked up yesterday, and that's why Carlos is in the starting lineup as a leadoff hitter. Do you see Carlos moving forward as maybe that guy to set the table? Yeah, for you? you know, the more the better he starts seeing right-handed pitching, he sees left-handed pitching very well. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just different movement patterns. Right. It comes into his swing more and. But but now his at bats off righties are getting better now because he's sticking his nose in there and he's he's laying off that 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 slide ball that slider and that down the way stuff that he was swinging out early in his career so that's definitely going to be an option and then those guys at the bottom you know they're what we told them is hey get swings off don't they're not gonna they're not gonna cross count you and pitch you they're not gonna pitch you like they're pitching Webb and Trella so be ready to attack and and Keith's doing a great job of that and, and Evan Bell's doing a great job of that they're working hard. All right, let's talk about Jonathan. He finally breaks through, gets yeah. that W, which has been absolutely crazy that it's been nearly a year since a pitcher of that quality, that caliber, has not had a W. But you heard him. We we just had him on. Big smile on his face. How is he able to do that through all the hard times? Well, he's a team guy. And, and the minute you know, the minute he comes out of the game, he's on the rail rooting for Hunter, you know, and, and Hunter goes in and strands some runners that were left on and, uh, but but the team has such a good vibe playing behind him that uh, because of the way he is and and uh, and that's 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 huge and and that so he never you know he just keeps working keeps doing his thing we've had a lot of tough offensive days when he pitches and and that's why I was really glad that we pushed that thing out through that big inning on him that let us extend him for for three more outs and and uh, and then I thought you know the the, the two run inning to push it to six to one was huge and then. Carlos making the hustle play on that chopper that Trella hit. Uh, so it, all those things, uh, the, if we can play that way when Jonathan pitches, we'll have a great chance to win. Yeah, I wanted to ask you more about the strategy because he ends up throwing, what do you have, 120 pitches. I think before a game you're thinking, yeah, I get seven strong from Bowling, we're in good shape. His pitch count was really up there in, a, in the fourth inning. What, of, what, was, of, what was going through your mind? Well, there? a lot of foul balls, and, and they were they were not aggressive. You know, some teams have gone out and have just said, we're not going to wait around for the strikeout. We're going to attack John John early. And you've seen, you know, some teams have just go in the box, swing, 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 and hope they find some holes and hope they can string three hits together to score a run. They were more patient today. They waited around a little bit more. His strikeout numbers were high, but they're a very good two-strike hitting team. I think he struck them out seven times, and – and that, that's they're they're a hard team to strike out because they do get rid of a lot of pitches. They foul off a lot of pitches, and that that elevates the pitch count. So there's times when I'm hoping, you know, the count may be two two, and I'll go, man, I hope he puts this ball in play. I don't want him to foul it off because they they don't barrel up a lot of balls off of him. They didn't today, but they moved a lot of balls foul with two strikes to get that pitch count up. They're trying to beat your bullpen is what they're doing, and and it's good to have somebody like Hunter down there that can attack. All right, you're even, Steven. You go into this game tomorrow to try to win a series against a Big 12 opponent. Tell us about Hicks and uh, the opportunity you guys have tomorrow. Well, hopefully Hicks has a good plan. And, and uh, you know, he's a different style guy than John John. His his plan is going to be different. He has to pitch on different parts of the plate. But what Hicks has to do is just eliminate the freebies. If we can force teams to swing, he'll get them on the ground more. And, and that's, that's, you know, the key is the, the sinker ball guy has got to pitch down. Uh, the ball's probably not going to be carrying as much, so it'd be a day a good day for 
you know, ground balls from us too. Because right. you know, I, I think with the wind changing and the temperatures changing, it's not going to play. Park's not going to play very small Good tomorrow. Point. It's going to play big. So challenging the strike zone, making them bunch hits to beat us will be the key.